Welcome back everyone to another episode of Le Plata, where apparently we are dealing with an annoying little pest we call France right now, people. Yeah, apparently France wants to think that they're big, big they have big belt brushes. But I was trying to make some comparisons here, it did not work. So, anyways, basically what happened was is that we are now at war with France. France is all like, oh, we could totally beat you in a war, hmm. And I'm just like, uh... <laughs> Move over, France. You guys don't have nothing on me. Nothing. Okay, I'm going to keep increasing these factories that seem to be having lots and lots of people in them. Because that really does help uh, immigration, which immigration is stuff we need. Immigration is very good for our economy. And immigration, just really awesome in general. Don't want to do it to the outside unless they're really doing well. Because the outside factories will probably not get as many people because I'm not encouraging as much. kind of wish I had more national folk guys so I could just like, Everywhere is encourage immigration. We will become immigrants of everywhere. We will have everyone immigrate to our country. And so forth, so on and so forth. So, anyways, we have this little difficulty over here of France to deal with. Which I'm so, I'm boxing them in, basically. If you haven't noticed, I basically box them in. And we're going to be we're going to be conquesting them very very soon. It seems like there's a decent sized Brazilian army there. I don't really like it. Uh, hopefully, maybe this will make these guys. Yes, they finally and just thank goodness they finally mobilized. You know, I should probably mobilize too, but I've just got lazy about it. Okay, and let's see. I think we. Wow. Huh? Did I rip them out of the sphere? Oh. Hmm. Uh, ban expel advisors in this country. Uh, what I want to do, I believe, is I want to expel the advisors of the British. Because right now I want the relationships to go back. To Dang, that was not the one I wanted to do. Okay, I wanted to do the one where it basically like expels them from the land and gets them out of here. Because I don't want to be friendly with them anymore. See, that's our, that's our main problem, people, is that they're friendly. They're friendly, and so that means we can't, like, conquer them. Which annoys, them, which annoys me to no end. Okay, and let's see, once you guys reconquer this. Okay, so, by the way, just so you guys know, you just so you know the, the situation right now. I have gas attacks enabled, um, and let's see, my other, I'll, these guys don't have gas attacks. So, with the combined forces of these two armies combined, I should be able to create a very, very toxic environment for them. Wow, that joke was unintended. Holy shoot. Hey guys, get your butts in- There we go. I was like, get your butts in the gear. Okay, okay. There, yeah, you see, now, gas attacks, even for a great power, are basically one of KOs, especially since they don't have any protection against them. So, we just defeated basically the only French threat we had on the entire continent. It still costs us a lot of troops, I'm not going to deny that, but... The French aren't going to recover from this for any time soon. And now we have Brazilian nationalists going to be coming into our land. We're going to crush the rest of these French people. And there we go. Send the 43k up here to go conquer more land. Make sure the French stay in check. Go send the 26 down here to go and defeat the rest of these Brazilians. And go conquer all this land. And there we go. We're back to being regular. Yes, yeah, it seems like we're having these guys just... They're running amok right now in my, in my country, in my future country, so we're going to have to go deal with that. But yeah, we're basically, I think we basically cleaned out France. France is just not Great Britain. <laughs> they're not Great Britain, so they're not going to go send over like 60k of men to come and defeat me. It's just not their style, so yeah, we should, for the most part, we, we'll be dealing with just much smaller engagements. Maybe we'll have another like... 49k land here or there or whatever, but it's really not going to be something we can't deal with. Okay, from here on out, I don't believe the French are going to be that hard to deal with, but I feel like these Venezuelan troops are annoying than the ever living light out of me and can defend against gas attacks. Oh my goodness, this is like the best war ever! Thank you, France. Okay, uh, well, actually, I want to make sure that this is what we want to do. Um, is there any chance I could get both? Probably not. Um, and ultimately what we decided is I definitely wanted, if I can't get both, I definitely want Venezuela to be the uh, kind of middleman. Also, could you guys go crush these guys? We need to go kill off, whoa, 
I did not expect those Brazilians to just randomly appear right there. Okay. That was kind of cool, though, because that was a good Suicide Squad. And let's see. This 50k will just go kill off the rest of whatever French troops try to come over here, because obviously France is like, Oh, no, wait a minute. This is not a good idea. We should never mess with La Plata. Because La Plata is the great power over here, and we basically own you guys. Okay? We're nice. We're, we're nice. We're nice dictators over here. Discover the polls. Yes. We have to be the first ones to discover the polls just because we need that prestige hit because I am insanely bad with prestige, apparently. As many viewers will note, I am very bad with prestige. So, yeah, we kind of need those events. Um, <coughs> yeah, the French are completely outclassed right now. They are completely outclassed. There is not much they could really do to stop me. Ah, uh, colonial unrest... I don't want to lose prestige. Give me some separatists. And Peru is back to being a friendly nation. Okay. So it isn't expel advisors. Okay. Is it banned embassy? Or is it discredit? Discredit makes it hard for them to be Okay, which one is the one where I want to just completely... Oh! Decrease opinion. There we go. Okay. Finally. Gosh, dang. That was hard. <laughs> it's like... Okay, what puzzle piece fits into here? Uh... Yeah, seriously, I mean... Man. Trying to figure out what I was supposed to do to dis dispersuade him is annoying. And now it's time, let's go kick out, let's go kick out the rest of the Venetians from my land. And let's see, we have most of these guys being dealt with. Uh, you guys, you guys could just go straight up here and just start conquering more of that. We have us going down right here. Eh. Overall, I say this invasion is quite successful. Uh, France is now wanting to peace out indefinitely because, like, we're winning. Not exactly the way I want to, though. But yeah, I think the better the better solution is for me to get that Venetian uh, core done, and then we can start dealing with other things. Uh, I'm also going to finally discredit the Americans from Peru, and then maybe what we could actually do is actually de just declare flat-out war against Peru. Which, actually, we could do right now. Let's do it. Wait, 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 wait. I have to do this. Discredit America. Yes. Okay. America is no longer allied with these guys, which means no one likes them, which means the only allies are Venice, are Venice and Venezuela. So once I'm done with this war, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to declare war on Peru, conquer Peru, and then I basically own, like, Oh wow, I'll own like all of this area, which means I basically, it's be, this becomes all my corner, which is going to be nice. It's going to be very nice. And we are slowly moving up in our efforts into conquest. I'm going to go destroy that army right there in Venice, because it just keeps on sieging the land I keep conquering, which is annoying me. And, but with that, with all these different armies I could have, this could be a very good thing. And let's see, let's start, actually start, I'll start the process now. We'll start the process of getting that core. So that everyone knows that we're a very just society about getting cores. Education. We're also a very just society about education. We definitely value the arts of learning and progressing your mind through the advancements of, of academics. And we're also very much a country about railroads. Choo-choo. And communists seize power! Huh. Wow. What? What? Huh. Okay? Okay? Uh, we're communist! O okay? That was, like, completely sudden. I... Acceptable pensions, apparently, also something everyone wants. Uh... Acceptable pensions... Pensions are right here. Oh, I am... I am in good pensions! Why would you guys want acceptable pensions? I am way better than acceptable pensions. Yeah, seriously, you guys... What you guys want... Oh my goodness. So, uh, apparently we just became communist people. Like, I knew we had a communist government. I knew that. But we just, like, straight up had a... <laughs> I feel kind of used right now. <laughs> we straight up had the communists just declare martial law and just make us a complete dictatorship. After all the hard works of trying to become a, a really good, nice Democrats, we became a dictatorship. And, on top of that, a lot more people are immigrating to our country because we became communists. And a surge of patriotism. I 
don't know what to say anymore. This is... <laughs> this is like probably one of the best days of my life. I... I feel like there's some... Okay. The five year, the proletarian state must guide the nation forward using a plan that takes into account all the needs and do the bourgeois greed. Uh, factory output, militancy, research output. No, we could probably... I like this. Purge the traitors? What? The proletarian state has many enemies. Once they do this, they not see the larger plan how it... Whoa, I'm... This is like... I, I didn't know these events even existed. Oh, wow. Leadership modifier, population growth. Oh my god. Uh, create the secret police? Actually, there is nothing bad about the secret police, so let's do that. <laughs> but, oh my goodness, I feel so dirty right now. This is like, you know, it's, it's not like in regular Victoria 2 where it's just like a change of government. It's just like, oh, okay. It, it's almost like changing hats. It's not really, it, there's really nothing big about changing a government in Victoria 2. But in this, it makes me feel kind of like a dirty person because... I feel like I totally just become a complete another dick to everyone. Oh my goodness, I, I'm, I'm scared, people. I'm scared. I'm scared for the future of our government for once. Uh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. And I'm going to divide my army up into half, halves and... Oh, we have that red flag. It kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but that flag is actually kind of scaring me just a little bit. Oh my goodness, what the- Oh! 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 Oh my goodness, people. I, I, I really don't know what to say, except... I, uh, I kind of do like the secret police. It kind of would help us out a lot. Uh... Um... Wow, this is me. This is gonna be really bad for me, I already know it. But purge the traitors. Yes. Let's keep our militancy down. And how much did that affect our immigration? Eh. Oh wow, that is affecting our immigration by a lot. Oh, can I can I revoke that? Can I go back and revoke it? Oh no. Oh, until 1904. God damn it. Okay. I, I, I think this is too much for me to handle, people. Like, I feel like, oh my goodness, wow, we just dropped. That, like, seriously hurt me right there. Oh, wow. Our immigration was, like, so high, and now... Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what to do, people. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know what to do, people. This is like one of those few times where I'm just like, I, I'm at gas. I'm, I'm like a gas, because this is like, I've never had the communist government completely take over, and wow. Oh, man. Did the five-year plan. Ugh. I would kind of, that would kind of make the purge the traders thing kind of useless. Although it is doing its job, it's keeping everyone militancy down. And even with the fact we have the purse of traitors, we still are getting to come to our country. Why would you come to our country now? We are totally not worth coming to our country. Oh my goodness. What are the, the goddamn Russians in this game? What are the goddamn Russians? Oh. Oh my goodness, we are enraging everyone because of our communist beliefs. Oh gosh, America now hates us. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, and we have no voting. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I should laugh or I should cry in this situation. <laughs> Oh, may, may God help us. Actually, we don't believe in God. May the state help us all in our time of need. Uh. Okay. Fans, will you give me what I want? No. Okay, fans. If you want me to get out of this war, so I don't fight you anymore. Give me this. 
and I will get out. Trust me. It'll be beneficial for everyone if you give me it. Oh. And now America is all like, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 people. I'm actually gonna rewind this. Oh, my God. oh. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but <laughs> this is this was way too much for me to handle. Oh my goodness, I I did not expect that at all. Oh my goodness. We just flat out became total dictators. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Okay, people, we are back in our regular government of awesomeness. I Apparently, I rewind it so far back that we haven't even fought France yet. So, I'll quickly do that, and yeah, I know, I know a lot of you guys are going to be completely mad at me for, like, rewinding that, but that was a little bit too much for me. That was just like... What the heck? We're now communists? We're now this? We're now that? After, you know, quite frankly, after all the hard work we had done, we just became communists. Doesn't sound very nice. Okay, let's get you guys down to cordial, and plus, I didn't want to do that purge to traders. I just wanted to see what it did, and I didn't know it was going to be that bad of our immigration gone, so... Please, let's crack down on communism, because apparently they have the threat of actually taking over our government, which we apparently, as people of the state, never knew about. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, that was the, that was the what-if timeline where, um, where La Plata became communist. I hope you all enjoyed this little special deviation from typical history, and there are no refunds. So, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Acceptable pensions. Yeah, we can give sec acceptable pensions. We can make more people happy. I I can make more people happy. I don't really care that much. And you guys go right here, then go back here, and then go right there. Yeah. Let's crush all these guys. And since we already know future... Holy moly of Kazua! How did we lose that much? Okay, that is even worse than when we got the first time. Do we not have gas attacks in this timeline? No, we have gas attack. Do they have gas attack capabilities? Oh, that'd be so jipped if we just got, like, if they just embedded gas attacks at the exact same time. No, they don't have gas attack capabilities, but... Wow! We lost a lot more people in this battle than the first time. A celebration of freedom! Rejoice! I'm totally gonna rejoice about a celebration of freedom! There we go. Wow, we lost so many troops in that. I don't... I literally don't know what just happened. We just, like... Comparatively to our last battle when we fought this, we lost so many troops, but we're going to win this eventually just because of numbers. And we're, we're going to heal up for a little bit, but... Oh my goodness. So, everyone, apparently, there's an event that apparently you can get taken over by the communists, and apparently they, like, do all these crazy things, and you can have all these crazy events, like, purge the traitors. Oh, gosh, that, that one makes me feel so dirty. Like, so damn dirty. Oh my goodness. We're also going to basically give our troops a little bit of time to recover. They should recover really quickly because we have basically all of our fact, all of our stuff supported. Um, in terms of money, most of our people are doing fine. Factory, eh, factory's doing good. Everything's, everything's fine. Like, everything's seriously fine. But, yeah, we have to, in the future, we really gotta watch out for those, uh, communist takeovers because... Yeah, communist takeovers are not good at all. <laughs> that just... Wow. I, I still... I'm still in, like, almost shock and awe that that actually literally happened to us. Like, well, it didn't happen to us because this is an alternate timeline. But, for the sake of purposes, that was an interesting timeline we were fighting in. Oh, my goodness. And apparently, the French probably... As just in our other timeline, the French probably have nothing else to fight us with. So this will be a pretty easy war from here on out. And as long as we don't have the Gastein Communist takeover, which was really surprising, we should be very much fine in all things we do. Also the Panama Dividends. Panama Dividends are very important to everyone. And Jindoism is very important. And low, and low healthcare. 
You guys finally want healthcare? Man, this took you guys a long time. I mean, I would have given it to you guys a long time ago, but... Man, it took you guys this long to want healthcare. Seriously. It took you guys this long to want healthcare. Holy man, goodness. Okay, so anyways, uh, we're just going to casually siege up all this land right next to us. And I uh, want thank you guys for watching. This has been a very interesting episode. Uh, I can't wait for the comments in the comment section. It's going to be interesting to hear these guys talk. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.